Hello everybody out there, it's Mr. Freena with another math video for you guys. Um, <laughs> I wanted to touch on composite figures again, um, because we tried this question yesterday at the end of class and a lot of us didn't get it, so, which is no problem, it was our first time at it, so I just wanted to make a quick video and show you guys what we did to get the answer, to get it correctly. So, um, our first step is to divide this shape into different known shapes right different shapes that we know how to find the area of so we know rectangle we know trapezoid triangles those are the areas that we do know right um <laughs> our easiest one because there's only one step is the area of a rectangle which is length times width right and that's easy to figure out <coughs> Got a call. um because we can just divide this into rectangles don't we see rectangles in here like I know some of us wanted to divide into a bunch of triangles and different things like that, but that just makes it like you're doing more work than you have to. So the big clue is to split it into shapes that you can easily figure out. So if I take this line and just go straight down, this is maybe one shape you guys might have saw, right? Another one you could have done is um, this one, and that just turns it into two different, we got this box and then this box or this square and then this rectangle um and i'm going to show you guys that we can i mean we could have even done this and then split it up differently like this or something but that's just adding extra work to you like why split this into two boxes if, if it's already one and we have the numbers so i'm just gonna show you guys what we got to do and I'll show you both ways actually. So let's say I split it this way. All right. So now I know that this side is three, right? Which means that this side down here is also three, right? Because we know that it's going to be the same shape. Um, now I don't know this side because this whole side is seven, right? But I do know that going from here down is four, right? Because this over here tells me it's four, which means that this little side is four. And if this whole thing is seven, let me color that orange right now. Oh, I'm not doing orange. So if this whole thing is orange and orange is seven, and just this part in green is four, right? Because these sides are four right here. But we know four plus or seven minus four is three, which is how I got this side right here. This is small side. Now, I know that might be confusing for some of us, but we have to think this whole big thing is seven, right? But we know that this side, this part all the way down is four because it's four over here. This tells me this is four, so that means this is also four. Just like, so I know this is three, so this is also three over here. Because you can go across, across the shape and get the same, it's going to be the same length. Um, and 3 plus 4 equals 7, right? That's how I got this number. Let me move this 7 out of the way so you might be confusing you guys. Um, so if this is 3 and this is 4, the whole thing equals 7. And that's what it tells me it is. This whole side is 7. So now I just have to figure out my, my formula was area equals length times width. Well, I have 3 times 3. And I don't need a calculator for that, right? It's just going to be 9. Um, for this whole side right here which is shaded in now. Let me see if I can shade this thing. In. Oh, it didn't work. I was gonna try to color it guys, but it's not working for me. Um, so this area of this little box is nine. Well then how do I figure out this one? Let's find the longest side that we have, which is 12 right here, which means this whole side is 12, right? And then we know that <laughs> this side is four. So let's do 12 times four, because that's area equals length times width. This is my length, this is my width. So what's 12 times four? So Some of you guys might be quick right this to me. Let me see here, four times, ooh, four times two is eight. And then four times one is four. So we got 48. So now we know this box is 48 and this box is 9. And I'm done, right? Not quite. 
I need to add them together. So what's 48 plus 9? And hopefully you guys got... Put these up. All right. And that is how we got our answer. The other way you could have done it, let me erase all this one side, is you could have also split your box this way, right? Like I was saying, I still have two nice rectangles I can deal with. They're easy because our formula is area equals length times width. So this one's already done for us. We have our length and our width, which is 3 times 7. And that's just going to equal 21. I don't have to do anything fancy. Now, can I do 12 times 4? No, right? Because 12 is this whole line. 12 is this whole part right here. Um, that's in yellow. This whole yellow line is 12. But we don't need this part, right, for this square because this isn't a part of it anymore. So I need to figure out, well, how long is this side? Well, I have that information because it tells me over here that this side is 3. So if this side is 3, that means this is 3. And if that means, let me bring this down again. So if I know this whole yellow line is 12, then 3 plus what equals 12? That's just elementary school math right there, right? It's just 3 plus 9, right? Or you could do 12 minus 3, and that's going to give me this side. So now I know that this whole, because this adds up to 12, right? And then you know the whole line is 12. So if this is 9, then that means this is 9. Um, so then what would this side be? If this is 4, that means this is going to be, uh, put it in green, 4. Um, and then I can just multiply. I have my length, which is this right here, 9. And I have my height or width, which is 4, or your base times height. Um, so 9 times 4 equals 36, right? And again, I'm not done. I have to add my two areas together. So I have 21 plus 36, which equals 57. Again, just like I had before. So it doesn't matter how you chop it up. As long as you chop it up to shapes that we can easily figure out. Remember I had 9 and 48 on the other one. And this time I got 21 and 36. And it still adds up to 57. Um, I'm going to say units squared. So that my friends is how we solve these composite numbers hopefully this video made a little more sense for you guys